Hey, welcome back to Stream My Entertainment. Um, it's your boy Marvin. Uh, just on the result on uh, Spurs 1 Crystal Palace 0. Um, a well deserved win, and it's about time since Mason uh, had taken charge. Um, the first point um, I want to talk about is basically um, Mason dropping Dyer. Um, Spurs fans, what do you think about that? Do you think that was um, a good thing? My thoughts are is that Dyer hasn't been great um, the last three or four games. Um, I think he's been pretty poor um, against Liverpool and in us, uh, in us conceding a lot of goals as well. I think uh, basically having Emerson Royal back, long lay fit, um, Ben Davis back, I think we look a lot stronger. We look like we got more legs um, at the end of the day. And uh, Romero, I thought he was tremendous leadership today. I think leaving Dyer out had proven that we're better defensively. And it's not only that, um, we've had d d uh, uh, basically Royale out for loads of games. We've missed him badly. Whatever you say, he's, he is actually becoming uh, one of um, uh, Tottenham's best defenders. His aerial prowess, um, his batting qualities, um, his running. And, and we need legs in the team. And you need those young boys in there as much as Poro. Pedro Poro had a good game. He's getting a bit better defensively. Um, I think his sometimes final ball could be a bit get a, a better work. There was a time he, he went down the right got in and he, he shot and he could have put um, Son in. Uh, but again, like I said, he's still learning the English game, uh, but um, a good performance. Uh, we saw Longley have a good game. He won a lot of aerial duels at the end of the day and his, in, in, in his um, awareness around him is good. He's not the quickest, but he is a great ball playing defensive um, defender. And I like that. Um, and also the tenaciousness of Ben Davis at the end of the day, just his heart. I mean, he's not the greatest of footballer, but his heart and to, to win balls are phenomenal. We fought for each other and we're defensively more sound. So um, I've I got to give the, um, you know, the, the manager credit there at the end of the day by seeing what needed to be done. Um, sometimes we actually think at the end of the day, is Mason got a, um, a few favourites in there. I don't think he has. I think he's actually going for what the, te the, the actual team needs. And he's not afraid to make um, substitutions, bringing Kulisevsky on um, uh, for Richarlison, uh, Sun coming off for Dan Juma at the end of the day. He makes uh, decisions quickly, and I like that at the end of the day. So, well done, Mason. I would like to see Mason possibly maybe drop a division and get more experience because I think one day he would make a, a bloody good manager at the end of the day but at the moment what we need is experience. My thoughts on the game, um, Harry Kane again was um, absolutely brilliant, great goal just before half time, I think we needed that. Um, Crystal Palace were very, very, very stubborn um, to break down but we got that goal. We, it was a well-deserved hard win and the main thing, the positive thing is the defence. We actually stood up to pressure. Uh, I know Crystal Palace maybe had a few half chances and we got a bit lucky, but you do in matches. But defensively, I'm glad we didn't concede a goal in the first 10 minutes, but um, I was pretty proud of the Spurs' performance today, especially defensively. Creativity-wise, I mean, Kane was dropping deep. Um, Richarlison... Uh, basically was like a fly, uh, basically giving defenders a hard time. I thought he was brilliant. I think sometimes Richarlison work rates sometimes go unnoticed. But what a um, tremendous team performance today. It, we weren't at our best, but we fought for one each other. I have to give him a lot of respect for Longley. His passing and his, um, his, 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 his aerial dominance was good. Royale, tenacious. Um, his battle with Saha was absolutely tremendous and um, that was a great battle but it, it just proves how much we've missed um, Royale and also Ben Davis and Longley as well and basically again uh, going back to the dire situation sorry not good enough and it, it, it proved itself there I think if Dyer was playing I think we probably could have conceded. 
Um, my main points again, Ben Davis, great game. Royale, tremendous. Longley was strong and took a booking at the end. I know he went off injured at the end of the day, but that was a, a bit of a crafty tackle on Sir Hart. It was just about to get away. And like I said, it's the dark arts again. You've got to actually um, uh, take the good with the bad. Do you know what I mean? Because uh, Palace were um, fouling and actually jumping in as well. Um, my overall, uh, basically, on the game was basically we battled. We battled as a team. We played um, as a team. We defended as a team. And this is what we're, and we didn't concede a goal. Uh, ben Foster, okay, he didn't have a lot to do. He, um, uh, he, he basically saved what he had to save, but he, it wasn't anything major. But it was a great, great win. And we win 1-0, we don't concede a goal, and this is what um, we wanted. And also, diet not playing. So, points proven. You know, Longley back, Royale back, and uh, Ben Davis back, and Poro as well. Um, I hope we go into the Aston Villa game with the same determination in not to concede at the end of the day and try to get maximum points at um, Aston Villa, but we'll do another video on that. So I'm quite happy with the result. Spurs won, Crystal Palace nil, and we move on to the next game. Don't forget to subscribe to Screenline Entertainment. We do a lot of topics on a lot of different things. So take care of yourselves. Bye, boys and girls.